Spring Lug Threadings, where you've got lots of options to pick where you want your spacings. We're going to use that one there, that one there, and that one there. So they're free to build our fence. Also use an end insulator for a strain point at the, at the end. You'll also need some wire and pliers, of course, to put a strainer insulator on. Safety, of course, plus the gloves. Okay, so we have an earth rod for our battery energizer we're going to fit. A little battery energizer, little 15K model, uh, runs off 12 volts, ideal for this sort of use. And of course, have a little warning sign on everything. Okay. Off we go. First thing we're going to do, we're going to do a strip raising fence across the paddock here. We're going to tie up an end insulator here on the post to um, fit uh, later today. Wire it away. It's quite soft wire, so it won't actually break. Like high tensile wire, but for what we're doing here, cut them off. We can actually see there's our strainer point. Okay, now we'll start laying out our posts. What I've done there is actually made a strain point out of my treading with my three wire fence are going to run across. I'm running a three wires for grazing fence. I'm using a 200 meter roll of pre-wound braid already on the reel to roll out. I'm just going to tie off the top where I'm starting from. Again, just make sure there's no dags or anything that's actually going to touch anything else that shouldn't be electrified. And again, off we go across the paddock and tip in as we go. See here, I've allowed two posts close side by side again to uh, fit my energizer on. 